This is Chong. He's a kitten and he has long fur. So he's gonna need to learn to be brushed all the time. And unfortunately, he doesn't really wanna sit still. So right now I'm gonna settle him in on the cushion rather than my lap. Oh, he wants my lap. Because if he decides he wants out of here, I'd rather him dig his claws into the cushion than me. So what I'm doing first is I'm starting with the parts he loves with a very easy brush. You saw he wanted to leave. Now he doesn't really want to leave anymore. No, you don't, do you, Tom? So this brush isn't very effective at getting out mats, but it feels good and it calms him down. So we can start with this on the parts he offers. So that's head, neck. It looks like he's trying to offer me his back. He might jump down and he might come back for more pets. And I'm gonna switch brushes on him. Now this one will actually get the, get the mats out and help clean his coat. Oh, were you rolling over? Okay, so don't fall for this, people. This looks like, sure, <laughs> go ahead, brush my tummy. But what this is, is all of his weapons ready to grab onto the brush. So if I make the mistake now of putting my hand in there, I'm gonna be in big trouble. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna let him do what he wants with the brush. And he might even scrape his face along it. He might even do some of my work for him. Now he's doing that and getting used to it. I'm gonna go back to those parts he likes. <laughs> oh. So again, my hand's way out of the way. And I'm probably gonna stop soon and try again when he's a little calmer because I'm not making much progress on his mats. But at least what's happened today is he's learned that it's not a big deal and he's not scared of the brush and he didn't claw me and he didn't, he didn't end it with a nasty thing. So I'm gonna try and pet him because he's reacting to the brush, not me so much. And I wanna make sure we're still on good terms that he's not clawing me or biting me, that we're still friendly. Again, I'm avoiding the regions I know he's gonna be reactive to. We'll get to those later. Once I get him used to me touching him almost everywhere, I can sneak a little touch, see, at his reactive parts. Now where I really wanna work is right here. This is a mat and down here is a mat. And so probably what I'll do with him in a later video is treat them with cornstarch and snip them out when I get them really small. But he's the type of cat that's always gonna get mats behind his legs. So he's gonna need to get used to somebody, me, cleaning him up. Right, Chong? So now I'm just stroking him where he likes to be stroked. He hasn't been aggressive at all. He hasn't clawed me at all. He's been a little intolerant, I gotta say, but that's my fault. I gotta work on his tolerance a little more. Right, Chong? These are your first mats ever, so it's time to teach you how to deal with them. All right, everybody, thanks for watching.